cheers for this discussion. I think there should be more open and neutral conversation about the relation between, let's say, crypto space and governments. Um, first of all, we gotta know this data, the norms by which each one operates are totally different. For an example, there are so-called laws coded in crypto. For an example, if somebody loses their wallet, that is their fault, they did something wrong, and any government entity cannot recover their faults. So they operate in different degree of accountability and responsibility. Um, so, um, first of all, we gotta know this, the differences, and then look forwards to the middle ground. And there we gotta, you know, see different point of views, and we gotta be careful whether to take a competitive stance or collaborative perspective since um, uh, you know what can happen if you don't let people innovate or whether you put limits to the technologies that can be used uh, so far as long as there have been cryptos, uh, many big governments or their experts have been speculating about the crypto space only in negative way. And so far, it has not affected anyhow the legitimacy of the crypto space because the responsibility and the accountability and the legitimacy is in the hands of the communities and the people. So, first of all, when this conversation begins, we gotta remind everybody about the different norms to what they are used to, and then we can see how we can build together. Not to forget that these days uh, there are already governments and countries which are supportive in terms of these new technologies that are based on blockchain. And it is just uh, one innovation of electricity after all.